Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic and recently Adobe released an update for Premiere Pro CC called the 2017.1 update that enables the touch bar for the new 2016 MacBook Pros. So I thought I'd take a look at what features it provides and um, what it's like. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, touch bar here. I've got this uh, project that I had from last week, editing, um, looking at the Mac Mini. And you've basically got a selection of default keys here. So it gives you the option, a trim tool, uh, ripple edit to the left, ripple edit to the right. Um, if you set up a transition, like if you click on um, two different clips, you can set up a transition, you can add markers, and finally you can minimize the uh, timeline. So we'll just go ahead and um, do a couple of these. So I can uh, ripple edit there. And I might think I might want to cut this clip here from the end, so I can ripple edit it that way. And then I can do it that way. And then I might want to add a transition here. So you click between the two clips and you add the transition. It'll add your default transition in there. Um, and then I think, oh, I want to mark this point and add a marker. And if you press it again, it gives you the marker options. And then finally, you can minimize the timeline, but I don't really need to do that. Then if you click on a clip, you get some other options. So um, like before, you get the option to choose which tool you're in. So whether you use the blade or just the hand. Um, you get audio control, which is more helpful if you click on an audio clip, it lets you um, change the mixer. And you've got time shifting, so if you click on a clip and click time shift, it gives you the clip speed duration window, handy to have. Uh, markers again, and finally minimize and maximize your uh, timeline. So we'll go ahead and customize the touch bar and see what, what kind of options we have. Um, and it's just, just got some additional ones, include go to the next marker, go to the previous marker, and uh, export the frame. And if we get out of that, selecting that particular clip and do that again, and then we go customize the touch bar, you can see we've got some different options. So we can add a transition, which I've already got, and uh, ripple trim, but we've already had those um, in the default set. So there's not really any need to customize your touch bar unless you want to change the order. So I'm sure Adobe is going to add more features in the future. Um, obviously it's very limited at the moment, but still adds the uh, main controls that I kind of want on a touch bar. And I'll be sure to report um, how it goes on Twitter, which is at Technologetic, and on Instagram at Technologetic. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Technologetic, and we hope to see you in more videos like this in the future.